Hi everybody, it's Sue here and welcome to day 14 of our daily walk through the month of December as we continue unwrapping Christmas, viewing the nativity through Luke's eyes. Now on this day of our devotional study, we're going to be looking at Luke 1.45, one of the most profound verses in all the Bible, I think. Blessed is she who believed, for there will be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. Now, Elizabeth's prophetic declaration to Mary, again, it is quite possibly one of the most profound and powerful assurances we can read in God's Word. The Lord will fulfill His promises to those who believe. Now, Mary is blessed because she heard Him, but also because she believed Him. And it doesn't say that she trusted Him perfectly or that she didn't have some doubts, and yes, certainly some fears. But her blessing came because she trusted God no matter what. Now, we can kind of stumble when it comes to the genuine faith in God department, right? Most of us agree we come up short in trusting Him. However, we will join the club of Abraham, Moses, Peter, and the rest of the disciples, to name a few. They all had their doubts. Nevertheless, we must start somewhere to let go of the control of our life situations and rely entirely upon His love for us. Now we grow in trust with someone as we spend time with them, and Jesus is our someone. There really is no other way. You know, the word of mouth from a pastor or a teacher won't be enough to cut it when we face difficult seasons. We grow in believing Him when we sense and feel His love and care for us, backed up by His Word and vice versa. Jesus has poured His love into our hearts, but have we cultivated the experience of His love in our time alone with Him? He has an open-door policy, but have we been accepting His invitation to come and take time to walk through that door and just be with Him? Mary received a word from God. And you know what? This pertains to us, too. His Word tells us that He is always speaking. But have we stopped listening? We can't even begin to hear His uh, promises for us if we don't turn off the noise in our lives and, well, you know, just keep quiet. Honestly, it's not that hard. His Word is near, and He has many promises to give and to fulfill in our lives. Let's learn from Mary and receive the miraculous. Hey, you know what? I'll see you back here tomorrow as we continue unwrapping Christmas.